and welcome to another product roundup from Superoffice. I'm Catherine, and together with my colleague Jeanette, we have the pleasure of introducing you to the latest news. And today, this includes a brand new sales target feature, a tool to migrate existing Superoffice documents into SharePoint, and the ability to configure archives to tailor what you see to fit your needs. In addition, we want to introduce the Sales Target Unlimited add-on and the ability to configure the project and sales screens as upcoming features that you can access as part of our pilot programs now. In other words, we have quite a lot to talk about today, so let's dive right in. Now, in our last product roundup video, we talked about using dashboards to measure marketing performance. But today, Jeanette, we're talking about measuring sales and sales performance. That's right. So dashboards in SuperOffice is your visual tool to measure and analyze different aspects of your business. And there are quite a lot of built-in reports that are specifically relevant for sales teams. For example, closing rate over time, you can view the value of sales by source or average deal size. And the most commonly used reports for sales are not surprisingly the pipeline reports. And typically these are viewed against individual sales reps and teams performance. And it can show forecasts by month, by quarter, or even by sales stage in a given time period. And if, of course, you can also customize these charts to fit your needs. Now, before you continue, Schnitt, it is worth mentioning that these and similar reports are only available if you register sales opportunities to SuperOffice. At minimum, you need to add your sales opportunities against prospects and customers with a value and an expected sales date. And that's actually all you need to create a range of these pipeline reports. But of course, if you, in addition, define your sales processes and stages, and perhaps even have different types of sales, then you have even more opportunities to track and measure how you're doing and can analyze your sales even deeper. Exactly. Now, new to SuperOffice is the ability to view your expected and actual sales against your sales targets in the same report. Uh, in an instant, you can see if you're en route or if you need to take action. And because the report is contained in one place and not spread out in different systems or in Excel sheets, it gives you more immediacy and more confidence in the numbers too. Yes, for sure. And combine this with the ability for a manager to drill down and look what's behind numbers. It's a lot easier to gauge whether the numbers are actually true of expected sales or whether it's more wishful thinking. It also gives sales manager a direct insight into where your teams are struggling, when to coach and help them move forward to close that deal, I would say. Yeah, and transparency is no doubt one great benefit from having it all in one report like this. Uh, and another thing I'd like to point out is that inputting targets is pretty easy to do. So um, including, for example, the ability to import numbers from Excel sheets. Of course, only users with functional rights are able to set targets in the first place to protect the integrity of these numbers. Another thing is, unlike other more complicated reporting tools, sales managers have more access to add targets and create their customized reports in SuperOffice. So no need to ask and wait for IT or finance to do it. Instead, you can explore the data in new ways whenever you need to analyze or manage your sales strategy. You're absolutely right, Jeanette. There's a lot of good things about this, and it makes reporting a much more flexible and actionable as a tool for sales management, I think. And as we know, there are some very good reasons for setting targets in general and for sales in particular. Now, we as a CRM company are so lucky to talk to and learn from many sales teams out there. So we know that there's a positive correlation between results and goal setting. And we do find plenty of research saying the same thing, so that companies who are good at defining targets, who share goals and talk about goals regularly, are found to do better than those companies who do not. So using targets actively guides and motivates everyone to work in the same direction. Absolutely, and the sales target feature is available now for everyone who uses Sales Premium in the cloud solution. And it also allows you to set sales targets for as many users within one team. And I guess the total sales value of each opportunity. So if you have more than one team, however, say different countries, or you want to measure targets against other dimensions apart from the total sales value, you will also soon be able to do that. 
And Sales Target Unlimited is the upcoming add-on that lets you add sales targets to as many teams as you need, and you'll be able to create a wide range of target types. For example, you might want to define sales targets for your different types of sales, such as newbies or upsells or cross-sales. Or you can define sales targets by partners, by different company categories, such as A, B or C customers, by different industries and so on. In other words, this offers you a lot of ways to use targets as a sales management tool for your company. Now, right now we're looking for companies who want to try this out as a new feature in our pilot program. So if this sounds like something for you, then do visit our community page where you can sign up as a pilot customer. And we have more to share today, Jeanette. So let's move on to the next piece of news. Let's talk about the new migration tool for SharePoint. Yeah. So just before summer, we shared the news about the free SharePoint integration, and it has been a capability many of you have been interested in. In short, integrating SuperOffice with SharePoint lets you store all documents created in SuperOffice into SharePoint, and you can enjoy the full document management capabilities of both solutions. So we're happy to see that, uh, that so many of you have uh, started to use this integration. And now if you do so, after you've used SuperOffice for a while, it will mean that you have existing SuperOffice documents that are not stored in SharePoint. That is, until now. So there's a new migration tool that lets you choose to migrate all or the most important SuperOffice documents into SharePoint. And that way you can forget about uh, where any documents is stored and you can just use the solutions as you need to. Now, if SharePoint is something your company use or consider using, check out the free integration available in the App Store. This is great news for IT managers and CRM administrators out there. I think most would agree that a good CRM solution is also one that is easy and cost effective to maintain, which brings us to the next piece of interesting news. Because your ability to customize and manage your CRM solution has been strengthened with new options to configure archives in SuperOffice. Yes, that's right. So we've been expanding the ability to customize SuperOffice using no code for quite some time. Uh, and now there are already a whole lot of options for you to configure SuperOffice to fit your needs. For example, you can create your own labels, uh, you can add fields, list items, define your own sales and project guides, and so on. And if you uh, also use the add-on named development tools, you get a range of additional options like creating your own CRM scripts, you can define if this then that macros, and you can configure your main company and contact screens. And this is typically what you see on top of your SuperOffice screen. Uh, and now you can also define what's visible in the archives. This is typically what you see in the lower end of your SuperOffice screen. Say for example, that you have a team who never use projects, then you can remove the project tab uh, from your archives and therefore remove the noise that unnecessary information can make. Or for example, you can let your different teams, say your sales or service teams, get more immediate access to specific documents or activities by creating new tabs that show the information most relevant to them. I think that many CR managers and users will be very glad to learn about this. By configuring these archives, you can tailor your screens and make it easier for people to find the information that they need fast. And without creating information silos, because all the data is there, is just displayed differently to support different needs. Jeanette, you mentioned this as a no-code customization. Why is that important to customers? Well, there's uh, of course many types of customizations that requires the degree of technical expertise to set up and maintain. For example, scripting, um, and, but they can be very worthwhile. But the more you can do yourself, the greater your flexibility to adapt to changing requirements and at a lower costs and it makes solutions more sustainable over time. Now that's true. I suspect many companies have experienced that customizations can be quite costly over time. So configuring archives like this is available from the admin module and only need the development tools add-on to access it. Yeah, so when you have this add-on, you can configure your archives tabs within the section of settings and maintenance. And you'll notice here that you're also able to configure your main company and contact screens so that your teams can see the fields they need uh, when they enter a company or contact card. Again, it's about making the relevant information more prominent for different types of users. Uh, and now we're ready to pilot the ability to define your main project and sales screens too. So for example, 
Someone working with complex implementation projects may want to see a different set of fields than someone in marketing working with events. The same goes, for example, in sales, um, where the process is uh, involved in selling to new customers. It's different to selling to existing customers. So again, if you recognize the need, perhaps you've created a number of your own fields in the sections of SuperOffice, then we hope you consider becoming a pilot. And you can check out the pilot program section on our community page. Perfect. Well, that's it from us. So we hope you find the new and upcoming features both interesting and valuable. And do share the news with anyone in your team that you think will find this useful too. Till the next time, have a super day. Bye. Bye. Thank you.